I didn't even know it was a type of tune. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like a jig, but it, I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so the, the first three tunes were slides from Wes Carey. Um, uh, I got them from a great box player and singer um, called Shane Spagley. Anybody? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> like this is a well-educated I know. <laughs> in terms of, of course you know. Yes. <laughs> um, music. <laughs> yeah, so those those are some classics that um, Shane's played a lot with Steve Cooney when they were playing together, and they played a lot for house dances, corset dances, um, and so that's, that's where I got those. Um, and then... We went into... They played an old-time old tune called mm-hmm. Georgia Horseshoe from Bill Hensley. Um, mm-hmm. I played one from North Carolina. Mm-hmm. So yes, we blended the cultures. <laughs> 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 um, uh, so yes, um, it is very fun to play fiddle music with Aaron here. <laughs> um, we're very excited to be here. Um, it feels very nice and intimate and cozy. Um, warm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, very, it's very warm. Um, oh, and also feel free to like talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Or walk or around. ask questions. <laughs> 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 Tight quarters, they can stand up. <laughs> yeah. Um, this semester I got to study abroad in Spain, which was like super crazy amazing. And um, the only other old time fiddler I know who lives there is a guy named Mitch Depew. Um, and I, I went, he lives in Santiago de Compostela, which is a place in Galicia, which there is also a fiddle tradition there. But we ended up only playing old time music there. Um, and he showed me this tune from Mose Kaufman. It's called uh, Lost Indian. And oh, it's also true. in Calico too. Before this gig, we thought that we would arrange our set list so that we didn't have to, like, maybe only had to retune once or twice. And I think we're going to retune between every set. (laughs) (laughs) It's kind of like (laughs) the always, I guess. And yeah, I'm going to have to (laughs) play it. Thank you. 
gigs at Walla Walla, like um, like the Walla was the Whitman College Renaissance Fair and uh, Odd Fellows Old Folks Home. And we one time played like yeah, those were our like biggest hits. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about the wine bars? You're not playing at the wine bars. <laughs> we didn't ever play the wine bars together. No. They're a little too classy. <laughs>
greatest hits. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> we played at the old folks' home. <laughs> um, it is an old time tune called Farewell to Tryon. <laughs> Um, and it comes from a place called Mentone, Alabama, which we actually went to. Over, I went to Mentone, Alabama last summer to play for this music camp. Um, mm -hmm. But the thing I remember was that I didn't know that there were armadillos in the United States <laughs> <laughs> until I went there. And then they're there, but they were. I only saw them as roadkill, which is a little bit sad. <laughs> but I didn't know they even existed. So <laughs> I didn't know they were here. A happier note, apparently Tryon is the denim capital of the world. In Georgia, yeah. It's in, yeah. It's farewell to Tryon, Georgia, but it's from Mentone. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, all these great cities in the United States. <laughs> great places. Walla Walla. <laughs> Thank you. 
moving back to Ireland. Um, let's see. We're going to start with a subject called Happy to Meet Sorry to Part. And then we're going to go on to Jerry Cronin's. And then we're going to play one called Bill the Weaver. These are all favorites of mine. So. <laughs> oh, and then the. Wait, so? Oh, and then we're going to play the Rolling Rips. Four jigs. For the present. <laughs>
tunes that I, um, I'd never heard a recording of, well, this is more like nerdy tuning stuff, but I'm just going to talk about it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never heard a Cape Breton fiddler playing cross A before, but then I heard a recording of Buddy McMaster playing in cro cross A, and um, then I was like, I'll just play some of his tunes and put some tunes into it and play it all in cross A. <laughs> so this is a Cape Breton set of A tunes.
was Jim Donahue's, which was composed by Jim Donahue. Jim Donahue. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was a whistle player from Sligo, um, kind of a contemporary of Michael Coleman, if any of you have ever heard of him. him. And then the second tune is one called Trips and Williams. That's one of my favorite tunes. Mm -hmm. um, and it was actually written by a Canadian fiddler named Calvin Vilrath, but a lot of old time musicians have taken it and mm -hmm. played it <laughs> in an old time way. Um, and so, yes, that that is another fusion event. Um, <laughs> 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 um, we're gonna play uh, a pretty modern tune written by a guy named Mark Simos. Um, <laughs> he writes a lot of cool tunes, and this one is uh, called "Keeping the Cats Happy." <laughs> so, for all the cats in your life, <laughs> may they be happy. <laughs>
back up here? Oh. We have to credit, I'm gonna credit Leo for our, oh. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna credit Leo for introducing Aaron and I back at Fiddle Tunes the year before I was a freshman in college. And yeah, so Leo is really the reason. Um, but yeah, it was very nice to know that coming at to coming to Whitman when there's like probably I didn't know of any music scene in Walla Walla, <laughs> let alone traditional or fiddle music scene. But Aaron was gonna be there, so that was cool. <laughs> Thanks, Leo. <laughs> We're gonna play some. Is your age out for now? <laughs> Thank you. 
So Sammy played from Bretton Tunes because she grew up playing that. Or, I mean, that was one of the first yeah. ways you started theater. Um, and I grew up in the Irish tradition, so I'm going to do a similar sort of thing, but um, from a different island. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to start, not that Cape Breton is an island, anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm going to start with a slow air. Um, it's called The Sheep in the Boat. And it's a it's a very very sad song actually, um, because it's a slow language. Um, it, it Kevin no Junior Cregan turned it into a very popular jig that people play these days. But it's actually um, it started out as a lament for these <coughs> folks that got into a boat with their sheep and they started out on the water, and one of the sheep's put its hoof through the bottom of the boat, <laughs> and they all drowned. <laughs> it's a very terrible story, very sad. Um, <laughs> sound like a sheep. <laughs> no <laughs> sheep in your boat. Or, I don't know, have like, steel stronger. <laughs> What's that? Was the farmer also crossing the river? <laughs> 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 it was yes. people and sheep because of course yeah. not just the sheep <laughs> yeah. there were humans there <laughs> um, so I got this from the playing of Kevin Crean who is Junior Crean's uh, grandson and um, after that I'm going to play a few reels and I haven't quite decided which ones they're going to be yet so <laughs> I'll tell you after Thank you. 
the Blacksmith's Forge, and then Three Scones with Boxby, which I think both of those names are actually wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> that's the way I <laughs> All right. You want to play a set of tunes yeah. again? And, <laughs> um, and the last one is an, um, one that I credit Dale Russ for teaching me. Dang or teaching Leo and then teaching me. <laughs> Lord Gordon's real. <laughs> one hit. Um, and the other two, uh, the first one, I don't know. Oh, yeah. So the first tune is called uh, Jerry Cronin's, and I got it from... Um, a mighty woman named Josephine Fegan. I didn't get it from her personally, but she um, was one of the first records that I found that my parents had um, that was a woman. So I always really loved her playing, and she was a very forceful player. Um, and she's also a fabulous composer. Um, and she's best known actually as an accompanist, which is unfortunate because her playing is also fantastic, as are her compositions. So. Um, this one's for Josephine. Um, and then yeah. in the middle, in the middle is a tune called Smith's Reel from Bob Walters. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
to Matt Tim. Yeah. yeah. Every time we play it, we like. Shoot you on the parts. <laughs> it's the living tradition. Yes. <laughs> uh, Smith's real. March, um, called the Fourth Dragoon. <laughs> I thought it was the Fourth Dragon, but it's the Fourth <laughs> Dragoon. <laughs> That's so funny. What is a dragoon? Is I guess a fancy dragon. Yeah, it's a fancy dragon. Yeah. <laughs> it's a military <laughs> term, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like imagining four fancy dragons. Oh, is it? <laughs> Military unit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so this is the fourth, fourth one. one. <laughs> and then a couple more. The yeah, a couple of Cape Breton tunes. Um, West Mabu Real. Mabu. 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 <laughs> and then the night we had the goats. And then. <laughs> it's more like. Sh it's a sheep and goat themed evening. Um, and then the. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Oh, Maudabon Cafe. Mada it looks like Maudabon. Yeah. <laughs> um, which I've also heard as Maudabon Chapel. So take your pick. It's whether it's a chapel or a castle. <laughs>
two different versions yeah. of that tune, and uh, we, tried we were to practicing it. We were trying to get to one version. <laughs> <laughs> and we did it. And then we just kept on. Yeah. So, so. That's a good job. There you go. But we made it to the B part. <laughs> <laughs> We only have two more sets for y'all. Um, we're gonna play a tune called Greg Sweet's Hornpipe, and we're gonna play it in cross A. Oh, we're gonna play that? Play back. I just wanna thank Doug and Robin so much for hosting this. <laughs>
Secret Tunes, um, written by a guy named Gary Harrison, and it's called Boys Them Buzzards Are Flying. <laughs> <laughs> and Leo's gonna come play guitar. Calico. Thank you everybody for coming. Yeah. <laughs> it's been very fun. <laughs> Gosh, we don't really have a team. <laughs> <laughs>